Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. We're going to continue to look at the attitudes Jesus talked about should define one of his followers and actually be one of the sources or ways they experience joy. But today's is a little different um, because it's one of the things that you would experience in life which probably wouldn't make you happy or wouldn't bring you joy or wouldn't bring you pleasure in any way. It's being it's suffering and it could be in many forms it could be uh, being hurt it could be emotionally suffering it could be um, an injustice and i want you to think for a second if you've ever experienced anything that was unfair if you've ever experienced uh, any type of suffering i remember growing up there were so many times i felt like either my teachers or my parents or a leader in some type of club you know, did something that I just felt wasn't right. And because I didn't feel it was right, I didn't listen to them. And oftentimes because I didn't listen, there was some type of punishment and it was never pleasant. And those types of situations, um, I actually deserved the punishment because I didn't listen. Now, maybe it was because I didn't agree with something, um, but I got punished or I suffered because of knowingly doing something I shouldn't have. But what about the times that we suffer for doing the right thing? And that's what Jesus talks about in this parable. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, he says this, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. So really what Jesus is saying is, if you are living so much like God wants you to, so much the right way according to God's definition of right, and you get persecuted, you suffer because of living that way, you should be happy, you should be joyful, uh, you should be excited. That, and this isn't just about being a good person and suffering. It's not just about doing the right thing in our own minds, but it's actually the rightest thing or the most right thing according to God. Doing that because of being a follower of God, because of being a child of God, and then suffering, because of that, that's when Jesus says you should be happy because yours is the kingdom of God, because it's a sign that you belong to and you are going to the kingdom forever. Now, when we were in Indonesia, there were definitely moments where America was not very popular, where there were certain presidents, where there were certain decisions made um, by the country or by the government that just did not make us popular in many parts of the world. We happened to be um, overseas during one of those times and people weren't really happy with Americans and because of that we were told to stay home and we stayed home for a couple weeks and then we began to venture out again now when we began to venture out again um, some people were still upset some demonstrations were still going on and I remember um, driving down a major road in the town we lived on and just a huge traffic jam and the closer we got to the traffic jam the more that we realized there was a demonstration going on it was an anti-american um, demonstration and so we just quickly did a u-turn and went home it wasn't worth it we didn't need to do what we were doing we were just tired of being inside and we went out and the words of a, a man who was retiring from that country always um, rung in my head where he said you know what I would never never worry or avoid being persecuted um, even being killed for being a follower of Christ but I don't think I'd be too excited about the idea of dying just because I'm American and, and that struck me because at that moment I didn't have anything to compare it to but in that moment doing the u-turn on that street seeing the demonstrations up ahead, knowing they were because of the choices that America had made, which I personally didn't even agree with. Now, if I happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and, and people knew I was American, there was a chance I would be persecuted, I would suffer, I would be harmed because of my identity as an American. And, and I wouldn't necessarily think that's always a bad thing, but there would be moments that um, I would agree with the people who are upset and I wouldn't want to be persecuted or suffer just because of being American. But if I was suffering or being persecuted because of following Jesus, that would be something totally different. Because every time um, some unfairness has come to me because of following Jesus, it's actually been an affirmation. It's actually been a way for me to know that others have seen my faith clear enough that they're making a judgment and they don't want to follow God, but they know I do. 
and then they start treating me differently. And Jesus says, you're blessed because it's a sign that you belong to the kingdom of God. Peter writes it this way in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 20 and 21. He says this, but if you suffer for doing good and you endure it, then it is commendable before God. And then Peter jumps to the example of Jesus. He says, do these types of things you were called because Christ suffered for you and he left you an example that you should follow in his steps. That Christ suffered, he was persecuted, he was killed, he didn't deserve it, he didn't do anything wrong, but he was killed because of who he claimed he was. He died for us. And so maybe we aren't in a land or a country or a place where we would easily get persecuted for our faith. But I think the point is, would we be willing to suffer because of Jesus? Would we be willing to suffer because of calling him our Lord? Do we live in such a way that if we were in a place where people would persecute or cause suffering or harm because of faith in Jesus, that you would be worthy of that? And then I think when we are, we begin to live in such a way that we realize if they're going to do something to me because of my faith, that must mean they see my faith as real and as authentic. And that brings me joy. I hope we could really wrestle with this topic because Jesus seems to stick with this attitude for a couple verses, which he hasn't done up until this point. So he ends with this whole idea of our faith and our right living according to God's ways being so central to our journey of life and our journey of faith that we will encounter at least some bumps along the road, if not suffering, if not harm, if not losing our life. And when we do that, we are blessed. We're going to continue this idea and concept next week with verse 11. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and the notification below and tune in next week. God bless.